This is part four in our series of lectures on the principle of mathematical induction. This is our second example of a proof which we will do using the principle of mathematical induction. So here's the result we're going to prove. We're going to show that for every natural number n, if we multiply the first n terms of the form 4k minus 2 together, then that's the same as 2n factorial divided by n factorial. Okay, this isn't at all an obvious statement, but someone is giving us this statement. They claim that it's true, and we're going to verify using principle of mathematical induction that it's true for every single n. So in order to do that proof, of course, you're going to have to understand how you work with this product symbol and how you work with the factorial. And we had in our, our, our inductive definitions of those things, and so we'll make use of those inductive definitions in our proof. So before you look at the way I do my proof, why don't you give it a try? Begin by, first of all, formulating what it is you're going to prove, and then write down what the basis step is, and insert the details of the proof of the basis step, and then do the same for the inductive step. So give it a try, and when you come back, you can look at my solution. So this is how we begin the proof. I'm first telling you what my sequence of open sentences is. For each n in the natural numbers, we let p of n denote the open sentence that we have this product formula, the product of 4k minus 2, as k runs from 1 to n, is equal to 2n factorial divided by n factorial. And I warn the reader that I'm going to use principle of mathematical induction to prove it. Okay, so the basis step is as follows. You have to verify that, it's, that p of 1 is true. And so what I do is I just simply write down the left-hand side, and I prove that it's equal to the right-hand side. So the left-hand side is this, and remember the partial product of just one term is just simply the first term. It's 4 minus 2, which is 2. Um, and so let's also check, so I put and, and we're going to calculate what the right-hand side is. It's 2 times 1 factorial, 2 factorial, which is 2, divided by n factorial, in this case 1 factorial. So that's 2. So you see I've shown that the left side is 2, I've shown that the right side is 2, so that proves that p of 1 is true. So that concludes the proof of the basis step. Now we come to the inductive step. We give ourselves a generic natural number n, and we assume that p of n is true, and we have to prove that p of n plus 1 is true. So we have the following. I take the left-hand side of what it is I'm trying to do. So it's this thing here in which we replace n by n plus 1. So there's the left-hand side, and I have to prove that it comes out to be the right-hand side. So you'll notice that I don't write anything down that has to do with this yet, because I don't know that it's true. I'm only writing things that I know to be true. So now, this thing by definition is the product, as k goes from 1 to n, times the very last term, which is 4n plus 2. Why is that 4n plus 2? If you replace k by n plus 1, you get 4n plus 4 minus 2, and that's 4n plus 2. So this is really the very last term in the product. And now, how much is this? Well, the inductive hypothesis, this, the assumption that p of n is true, says that this thing here is equal to this much times 4n plus 2. That's my inductive hypothesis. And here you see I'm telling the reader that that's where I'm making use of the inductive hypothesis. Now, we need to somehow get... Um, what is it? We want to get this thing here where n is replaced by n plus 1. 2 times n plus 1 is 2n plus 2. So we're really trying to get a 2n plus 2 factorial somehow in the picture. And we're also trying to get an n plus 1 factorial in the bottom. 
So since we already have an n factorial in the bottom, why not multiply top and bottom by n plus 1? That will at least get us an n plus 1 in the an n plus 1 factorial in the denominator, and maybe the numerator will come out the way we want. Well, all I did in this next step, um, after putting n, n plus 1 over n plus 1, I just factored a 2 out of here, so that gives me 2 times 2 n plus 1. Okay, so this is really equal to what we had here, and now it's just a matter of checking that we really get what we want. You see, if I multiply this 2 into the n plus 1, I get 2n plus 2. So I have 2n plus 2 times 2n plus 1 times the product of all of the natural numbers from 1 up to 2n. And so altogether, this is the product of all of the natural numbers from 1 all the way up to 2n plus 2, and that's precisely 2n plus 2 factorial. The denominator we already forced to be n plus 1 factorial. And so this is exactly what we wanted to see. This is exactly this thing here in which n is replaced by n plus 1. And so that proves that p of n plus 1 is true. We've managed to deduce it from the assumption that p of n is true. So it follows from principle of mathematical induction that p of n is true for all natural numbers n.